Hi everyone and welcome. Today we have a review of this Reticus V117. It's a three band radio receiver covering the AM, FM and shortwave frequencies. Now I bought this from AliExpress and got the time of recording. It costs around about £9.98 UK and that works out around about 12 US dollars. That does include shipping. Now, if the name Reticus rings a bell with you, you may well be thinking of this. This is their excellent V115. It's a multiband radio and media player. And if you're interested, have done a video review on this little set. So what I'm going to do is open this up and see what we actually get for our money. So first of all, they give you a little lanyard, which is always useful. They also give you a set of instructions. To be honest, you don't really need these. But it's good to see that they've actually spent some time on these and making it clear and concise. And then finally, we've got the receiver itself. Now, first impressions are pretty good. Retigas do use a good quality ABS plastic and this shows in this little set. It actually feels quite solid and well put together. Size-wise, we're looking at a receiver that's 126 wide, 75 high and around about 26 millimeters deep. So it's actually quite slim. And yes, I'm just going to get the old mugshot test that we always do on this channel, just for size comparison. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just take a tour around its various features. So starting with the front, as I mentioned, it's a three wide band set. They give you an analog style dial. So FM coverage is between 87 and 108 megahertz. AM is between 520 and 1710 kilohertz. And then finally, we've got short wave, and the coverage is between 8 and 18 megahertz. So not quite the full spectrum of available short wave frequencies. On the left hand side, the speaker is a 57 millimeter speaker, and they give it a rating of around about half a watt. To the right, we've got the power on indicator, which is always useful. We've got the three wide band select switch above that. And I have to say that again, it's just well put together. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. On the left hand side, they give you a little headphone socket. I've checked this out, it is just a mono air, but, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything different. Now to the right hand side, they give you this. This is lovely. They give you a little tuning knob rather than a tuning thumb wheel. And this is much easier to use as it allows for just a little bit more accuracy when you're tuning in, particularly for a station. It's just a nice little feature. And then below that, we've got our standard on off and volume control. Turning to the rear, a little aerial there. That's around about sort of 430 millimeters long, but it's good to see that it's a 360 degree movement. Below that, we've got a little stand, always nice to have. And then below that, we've got a little battery compartment. Now this takes two AA batteries. It would have been nice to have an actual sort of built-in rechargeable battery, but I guess you could use sort of rechargeable NICADs or nickel metal hydroxide batteries if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put it through its paces. I'm going to put some batteries in and see how she performs on those three wave bands. So let's crack on. Okay, so I'll pop some batteries inside. I'm going to try on the FM band first of all. So let's switch to that. Let's pop a little aerial up and let's see how we get on. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe you up. Can you hear that DSP kicking in? Protest full stop. Who would decide what is allowed to, to march and what is not allowed to march? Sound clarity is pretty good. Kyle Hurst comes in for Luke Molyneux, so they have uh... Can't hold it on music stations for very long because of copyright issues. Talking about competing with some. 
Overall, that's pretty good. Picked up quite a few stations there. I'm going to I'm going to try it on AM, see what we pick up. It might also actually pick up a little bit of noise off the camera, but let's see how we go anyway. So let's pop it back on. That little tuning knob is really, really nice to use. It's on the right hand side. Yeah, they didn't do it enough, I'm sure. And then when they look back, To be honest, that's not too bad. They are shutting quite a few of the AM stations around by me now, so it actually did quite well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test it on the shortwave frequencies. So let's see what shortwave performance is like now. Now selectivity, that may be a bit of an issue, simply because we just got one sweep of that tuning dial covering all of our shortwave frequencies. But nonetheless, let's see what sensitivity is like. Now of course, what you pick up depends upon where you are in the world and what's transmitting at that moment in time. Now, I live in the middle of the UK. It's just gone 8 p.m. in the evening. So, I'm going to do I'm going to select shortwave. I'm going to pop it on. Let's see what we can find. Now, we may pick up some noise off my camera. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that. But nonetheless, let's see how she gets on. I'll try and do this as slowly as I can. So, we try and pick up as many of those stations as we can. Not much up the upper frequencies. Let's see if we have a bit of better look further down. And then, you know, he was told that uh, healthcare was free. Let's like, pick a few up now, that's good.
Okay. We picked up a few. As I say, you can actually sort of repeat this in an hour's time and get completely different results. It really is sometimes just down to luck and weather conditions, but nonetheless, it performed quite decently, I think. So what I'm going to do now is put the LED lights back up and we can continue from there. Okay, so we've got the lighting back to normal levels now. So there you go, it's the Reticus V117, a three band receiver. I have to say, it's a nicely made little receiver with some nice touches that makes it easier to use. A rechargeable battery would have been nice to have, but overall, I really like it. It's a nice, simple little radio that performs well, has good sound quality, and it's not gonna fall apart after five minutes use. And by the way, I'm close to that 1,000 subscriber level now, so just to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed and continues to support my channel. And if you're new here and you enjoyed what you see, then why not consider subscribing as well. And all that leaves me to say is, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.